Um, hi, this is uh, Jadang Cordon. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna explain the chapter 13 in the Carlos Bulusan America's in my heart. Um, so this is chapter 13. We're gonna start in the first page of Carlos Bulusan um, explaining what he what uh, what are the experiences that he uh, had encountered in the both during uh going during the trip going to the america so this is our uh, first page uh he experienced um the things that um being in a seasick lonely uh walang pagkain no food and he was uh experienced also restless nights and disturbing thoughts that comes to his mind those are the experiences that he had in his mind questions that uh, what would i do in america why had i have left home and uh, the answers in those questions were um, were solved in the faces of her com his companions and other uh, Filipino uh, Filipinos uh, that in the boat also so that's it so dun sa both um, naranasan ni Carlos Bulusan na makulong sila sa ilalim ng barko kasi madami mga regular customers si mga imbarko so nakulong sila dun uh, and then nagkaroon ng epidemic sa loob ng barko na tinatawag na meningitis na kumalat during this journey um, going to America uh, Carlos Bluesan um, have found a new friend a Filipino name um, uh, Marcelo Marcelo is from San, Man San Manuel Pangasinan excuse me uh, San Manuel Pangasinan uh, Marcelo have been there also and he have worked in the Mongo field and in this chapter or in in this page uh, Marcelo explained that he had experienced uh, the difference within the white and the Filipinos that uh, one of the one of the regular customers in the both said that uh, the Filipinos should have uh, a decency in their body and the Filipinos should um, know where the, where, the, where they belong and then one day uh, Marcelo arrived in Seattle exactly June uh, the first sight of land he experienced was exhilarating everything was a uh, native to promising to carlos uh, it was like f coming home after a voyage although i had no home in the city everything seemed familiar and kind the white faces of the building melting in the soft after sun the gray contours of the surrounding valleys that seemed to vanish in the last uh, per 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 of light with a sudden surge of joy i knew that i must find home in this new, in this new land so in this new land in seattle uh carlos bulson have uh, 20 cents left in his bank or in his bag so unfortunately there are two old timers put in the car with others and took us in and they took Carlos and the old two-timers in the hotel called King Street, the heart of Filipino life in Seattle. Marcelo, who was also in the car, had a cousin named Elias. So, Marcelo had a cousin named Elias, who came to our room with all, another old-timer. Elias and his, and his unknown friend persuaded my companions to play strange kind, kind, kind of card game in a little while. Elias got up and touched his friend suggestively then they disappeared and we never saw him them again so here um, Carlos Bruce and explained that um, 
he found his friend Marcelo and another friend named Elias and they played cards with the two old timers and they never found the two old timers again. Marcelo told um, Carlos Bulusan uh, that they will go out and find some help. So they find some help and then they get a few cents in outside the Seattle and then uh, Marcelo uh, gave a written message into his uh, cousin that is in California oh sorry in in his brother that is that is living in California and waited for the money to come hungry and afraid to go out in the streets so when the letter came back they said that his brother had found been dead so now that is Mars uh, Carlos Bulusan sorry Carlos Bulusan is des desperately have nothing in his uh, in his bag or money in his bag so uh, he just looked up in Marcelo crying and he began to get his suitcase and now started to walk and go out but suddenly there was a guy named uh, named uh, sorry there was a guy that uh, Mar Marcelo came and talked to him a uh, proprietor that said that um, there was a work for them so they offered the work for Marcelo and Carlos Blusen so now uh, Jake um, sold uh, Marcelo and Carlos Bluson to work in Alaska in uh, with his friend that is called the Propriator. So in this page, in this way, we were sold by we were sold for five dollars each to work in fish canneries in Alaska by a visitor from the island of Leyteton Elocano from the province of La Union. Both we were old timers. Both were tough. They exploited the young immigrants until one of them, the whole proprietor, was shot dead by an unknown assailant. We were forced to sign a paper which stated that each of us owned contractor twenty dollars for bedding, the another twenty for luxuries. So here, the ex Carlos Bruce explained that he have he had experienced that. Uh, the owner gave them a contract that he would uh, work for them to pay for his luxuries and everything so, to be simply and to be easy to understand in this uh, chapter 13 Carlos Bulosan explained the experiences of everything that he had uh, been through going to America so there I said already that they have uh, they were been they will be working in Alaska for fish canneries and then there were um, some problems with the name girl um, uh, with a with an Indian girl and Paulo and um, Conrado. So Paulo is not the father of the child, but Conrado is. But there's a po policy in Alaska that if you have a child with an Indian Indian girl or with another girl, you should uh, take responsibility of that. But Paulo loves. The Indian girl, so he took responsibility of that. Uh, in a in a other way, he took the responsibility of the child. Um, Paulo would like Paulo would like to have a visa, so he could stay in America. So that's the chapter thir chapter thirteen of Carlos Blues and America's in my heart. Thank you so much for listening. One of the guys that uh, took Marcelo in and. Uh, Carlos Bruce and the work is Jake. Jake is the is the friend of the proprietor that uh, have a company that uh, cleans the tin cans in Alaska. So Marcelo and 
Carlos Busson would be probably going to Alaska. And